Imagine a time over a thousand years ago, in the rugged mountains of Tibet, where the air was thick with tension. King Trisong Detson, a visionary leader, had a dream to establish Buddhism as the heart of his kingdom. But there was a problem. The local spirits were resistant, and their forces seemed to conspire against him. Enter Padmasambhava or Guru Rinpoche, a figure who could come to be known as the second Buddha. When he arrived from India, he wasn't just a monk in robes. He was a powerhouse of spiritual energy, armed with advanced tantric practices that transformed everything in their path. Picture this. He faced down hostile spirits, not with weapons, but with the profound wisdom of Vajrayana Buddhism, a practice that emphasizes transformation and visualization. He didn't just subdue these spirits, he bound them to serve as protectors of the Dharma, weaving local beliefs into the very fabric of Buddhism. He introduced the concept of terma, or hidden treasures, teachings meant to be discovered by future generations. It's like he planted seeds of wisdom throughout the land, waiting for the right moment to bloom. Can you imagine the excitement of finding a hidden treasure that speaks directly to your spiritual journey? And then there's Guru Yoga, where devotion to one's teacher becomes a lifeline to enlightenment. It's not just about learning, it's about building a relationship with somebody who embodies the qualities you aspire to. Finally, the Nondro practices. These are the foundational exercises that prepare you for deeper meditation. Spiritual warm-ups, helping you get ready for the profound insights that await. Through Padmasambhava's vision, Tibetan Buddhism emerged a rich tapestry of tradition, culture, and spiritual practice that resonates even today. His legacy is not just within monasteries, but within the hearts of those who seek a deeper connection to their own spiritual paths. This week, let's focus on his seven-line prayer in English, in Tibetan, and also his root mantra. Following will be a couple of short and longer lessons on the practices of Padmasambhava that can benefit us, enabling us to be better contributions to society.